Welcome to Ruminations on Jetspace Magazine. I'm Ryan. I'm Marita. And we are so ready to serve and spill and sip all the tea on Drag Race Season 9, yes. Episode 7. What? Also known as... 9021 Ho! Oh. <laughs> no, but literally. No, but actually. So yeah, we had such a fun challenge yes. this week. It was like a complete experience of an acting challenge where we actually, you know, got to see everything from them picking roles and they got to choose their own roles, which was really fun to see kind of what they thought they'd be good at. Um, right, we'll get to that later. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then we got to see a ton of the process of filming with Jenny Garth and Tori Spelling. Uh, and then we got to see the entire lo like show. Yeah, we which got was, to see the actual result. Exactly, yeah. which we didn't get to see with that live bullshit before. So yeah. it was such a fun challenge. And being a 90s babe, I loved it. Agreed. I may have been a little too young to watch that show, but I did anyway. Hey. I was such a rebel. I know, right? Sometimes I would even go swimming like 20 minutes after eating. What? I know. How are you still here? Right. Okay. I thought the best performance mm. for me yes. was Shea Coule. Hands down. Mm -hmm. Hilarious. Who else could play your favorite fifth golden girl? Right? She was preggers. She was crusty. <laughs> and she killed it. I love that Shay, who is so perfect otherwise, mm. could still not take herself too seriously and totally. enjoy it. She got a lot of praise. I love a queen that can act ugly, you know? Yeah. And that, like, yeah, like doesn't take herself too seriously and just can, like, get into character and add all those nuances of, like, the cough. And I felt like Jenny and Tori were the impressed with her as well. Mm, you're on a first name basis with them. I now. know, right? Old Jen and Tor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's also nice that Shay got to wash off the old lady makeup because some of us. Oh my gosh. Stuck with it. Whatever, you baby. Okay. <laughs> my fave was Trinity Taylor as yes. Pheromone's mother slash single white female. You know? It was like. <laughs> It was just such a great character. But I feel like even with the character itself, other people could have bombed at it, and Trinity just like flew through the roof. So um, everything from the pill guzzling and the like following her around at prom and all of the outfits were so on point. I just, I laughed the hardest at Trinity's performance and just thought she killed it. If we had like Jennifer Coolidge downing a bottle of pills. We would get Trinity Taylor in this performance. Absolutely. And I would pay a lot of money to see that. She was hilarious. Yeah. And also didn't take herself seriously as well. Right. I appreciate that coming from a perfectionist. I wonder what those pills were. Tic Tacs? What if it was all Viagra? Those tucks would be in danger, girl. I know. They would probably still have bonies. <laughs> like today. <laughs> Some of the performances were lacking, though. Mm. Yeah. Who kind of sank below? For me. Uh-huh. I, I mean, part of this is pattern that is emerging of Nina Bonina Brown having kind of not a great attitude on set and yeah. not taking direction well. Um, and I mean, we all know at this point that it comes from self-doubt and kind of self-esteem issues, but it it feels disappointing to me every time because I just love Nina so much and I want her to excel because I think she has such great potential. Um, but there was that whole scene where Jenny and Tori were giving feedback around enunciation um, and I could sense Nina getting really upset. And at one point she said, we all know what this is about or something like that. And I thought she was gonna actually talk about it on camera in terms of feeling targeted as a black person who speaks a different right. way than the rest of America wants to hear people speak, um, which is super valid, but she didn't actually do that on camera. Um, but with that valid frustration of her, she still is difficult to work with um, and her performance itself fell flat. So I, yeah, I wasn't too happy with Nina. Mm -hmm. And it's disappointing because she is so incredible yeah. and so talented. It's like, just get that chip off your shoulder right. and move on. Don't sweat the criticism. Mm -hmm. Just like take it from Jay-Z, like brush that dirt off your shoulder. Thank you, Ryan. You actually like literally, oh. <laughs> I just found it here. Oh, that's awkward. That's right. 
Yeah. Also, Aja. I was really upset about Aja yeah. acting like she did. What a fool, yo. You're on Drag Race and you're That was a good whine. 90s reference, right. Coolio. <laughs> like Coolio. I've spent most of my life reading that <laughs> mug. Because Aja, you have the nerve to come on Drag Race and only learn like halfway through the competition how to paint mm -hmm. by other people telling you how to do it. Your competitors mm -hmm. giving you, throwing you a bone. Right. And then you're going to complain about being given the wrong role. It was China Black all over again, another Nina tirade. Right. And feeling like the world is out to get her. Aja jumped on that train. Yeah. And it was super annoying. But Peppermint, being the bigger woman, said, we don't have time to deal with this shit. You swap with Shay, which was a good move anyway, because Shay had just played China Black. Word. And her character might have been a little similar mm -hmm. to Aja's eventual character. So it was nice that that was a smart move for Shay to be able to play this old lady instead. Yeah. And Aja wow, ugh, wow. lost it for me. Mm -hmm. Sorry, girl. Yeah. Then her perf I yeah. It's so funny to me when people like fight for a certain role and then flop at it too. Right. It's like, really, you fought for that? Okay. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> I know that we just got done reading Aja, um, but I surprised myself by actually choosing Aja for the runway look hmm. because I felt like she was most improved. Granted, she did get a lot of those pointers from other queens, but it's still hard to improve your makeup skills that much in that short amount of time. And I legit liked her look. Everything from the fun hair down to the kind of whimsy, but like rough, not rough, Kind of like futuristic. Yeah, like kind of sci-fi yeah. dress that she had going on. Um, I just liked her overall look and felt like she deserved some kudos for stepping up her game. It was her best look on the show. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So if she had to step it up at this point, she succeeded in that. Yeah. And then she fell off the cliff. But... <laughs> hey. Spoiler alert. Crawford, what was your favorite look? <laughs> <laughs> My favorite look was, well, it was close. Valentina, you were real close um, to being my favorite. Those lilies in your hair, that 70s jumper, whew, mm. that was real close. But then Sasha turned the corner mm -hmm. in that 90s punk mohawk with the rat tail all the way down and those torn up tights. It was giving me like, dirty sidewalk listening to Pat Benatar mm. chewing on yesterday's frozen pizza realness. I fucking lived for it. I pizza could... or pizza rolls? All of the above. Mm, I mean, okay. I'm not fancy. All right. Yeah, Sasha killed it. And this was also a nice change for her because we've seen a lot of very polished looks from her. And this was a really edgy direction for her to go in. So yeah, it was fun. I was very impressed. Loved it. Cool. In the spirit of 9021 Ho, mm. this was a read heavy week. Mm -hmm. We had lots of delicious shade. And so we have a couple of reads that we should probably highlight. The first of which, the second runner up, if you will, mm. was in Untucked when Aja was stretching out to get ready because she knew she was lip syncing for her life. Because, girl. And her pads came undone, they kind of bunched up. And Trinity I hate just, when that happens. You know, right? Like every Tuesday morning Ugh. for me. And then Trinity just looks at her and was like, girl. It looks like The Walking Dead has chewed on your ass, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, you're so stupid. Oh my god. I, I, Trinity's killing it this week yep. for me. Hilarious. Good stuff. Word. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Second honorable mention goes to the moment in the workroom when Sasha read Farah for being Farah. You guys, who am I? I don't need to smoke. Why? You can never wear enough highlighter. <laughs> Like it, was just, it, it was preceded by Farah taking off her crown from the previous challenge, from the previous runway, and moaning. She was like, <laughs> 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 And 
And then, and then Sasha just read her yeah. for being a baby, and it was so funny. And it was on the heels of her mom, like this was the same untucked episode where Farah got to see a video from her mom, and yeah. her mom was like, "I miss you," and I miss that. I don't get to hear you yell, Mom! And then all the queens were like, I can definitely hear you saying yes, that. Yes, yeah, for sure. Accurate. Fersh. But the winner of Read of the Week has to go to one and only Peppermint. Ugh. When she laid Aja to filth. I'm so excited for Aja to actually watch this episode to see what Peppermint said. It's one of the biggest parts in the show. And you traded it in for a bitch who's only in the last scene. So now you look like a bitch playing a bitch in the last scene. Like she cut Word. her screen time and everything. And what was this tantrum for? Mm -hmm. For nothing, for you to go home. Girl, hope it was worth it. Bitch. <laughs> That wasn't very, that wasn't, that wasn't with gusto. No. I need more spit. Hey, Do over. Truth talking. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Hey. Hey. This is the magic of your crystal. I know, right? It makes me salivate. Brian, guess what? What? It's time for the money shot. Money shot. Money shot. Money shot. Money shot. <laughs> My money shot was Avi. The makeout scene. Yes. Like, <laughs> hey, I love that they're like, eh, like that funny thing that happened at first. Because that's When they hilarious. were making out from afar. Yeah, when they were doing like a drag queen makeout because you don't want to touch makeup and mess it up, right? True. Should we do it? It was like that. Yeah. Yeah. That was satisfying. It was mm. good for me. Wait, I'm monogamous. Oh, fuck. Anyway, um, but then when they actually made out, I feel like Aja's tongue was the money shot because it was just like, you could see her tongue. Also, I just find it very, very awkward. So awkward that I have to use the full word very to watch people make out. I, I find it so awkward. And so then it was just like awkward on top of awkward on top of awkward and Aja's tongue just darting into Peppermint's mouth and you're like, what? This sounds like a traumatic experience it was, for you. It was. It might have had a nightmare about it. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, your nightmare is my dream because I was a little turned on by it. I'm not going <laughs> to lie. At first I felt very uncomfortable. And then I was like, we haven't seen this on the show ever. Yeah. Like, I have never seen any of these queens kai kai with That's each other. Like, not, not full kai kai, but like a kai. Like, like what RuPaul's Drag Race are you watching? Yeah, well, it's the spinoff that we don't talk about. Uh, <laughs> no, this was fun to see. And I was also very pleased that this happened because Peppermint and Aja just had beef like that morning mm -hmm. as Peppermint was like, stop acting like a child. Yeah. But here, let's make out. That's true commitment. True commitment to the character. Yeah. And I applaud that. Have an Emmy. Have two. What's your shot of money? <laughs> My moneyest shot mm. has to be Alexis. <laughs> I can't even say this seriously. It's Alexis. Why? Because when she played Mana Darton's mm. double in the reflection, mm -hmm. in the mirror, she had these overalls and this tube top or like red t-shirt and the crispy hair sprayed hair at 90s makeup. And I was like, oh my God, it's my sister. <laughs> she looked- Like your sister now? No, like oh. back in 1993. Oh, okay. That Just was checking. quintessential Cindy. Oh my God. Cindy, hi Cindy. Hey Cindy. <laughs> yeah, Cindy, don't watch this. And then, it all came down to uh, the lip sync. What? And we got to hear a song. It had been a long time, but... Finally, it has happened to me right in front of my face and I just cannot hide it. That was sultry, you guys. God. <laughs> Give the Grammy away now. Jesus, am I right? No, so... Well, okay. The lip sync... It was entertaining. Mm -hmm. I thought it was the best lip sync that we've seen so far this season. From like both people. Like it felt like It was equal. Were, mm -hmm. Yeah. Instead of just one person like 
doing the shotgun peppermint yeah. and launching whoever home. Cynthia? No. Anyway. So we finally got some action. Aja did the splits, jumped into them, did a cartwheel. Mm -hmm. Nina did this wonderful boob shake <laughs> that I could not get over. And I do that every night before I go to bed, just to make sure they can still do it. Oh. Yeah. It's Is it like counting sheep for you? Mm-hmm. It's really soothing. Jump over the fence. Yep. I wish I could do that. <laughs> I thought it was funny that they both were kind of synchronized at the same point too. It was like when Kimora and James both fell at the same time. Nina and Aja both kind of leaned at the same time mm -hmm. and then leaned again. It was in synchro. Like do it with me. If you're oh. if you're Aja, I'll be Nina. Mm -hmm. They did this lean back and then back up. And then hit that high note. And then back right. up. Yeah. It was great. It was luscious. Luscious. That was a perfect word for that. Okay, here's the deal. What? <laughs> I thought Aja uh -huh. outperformed Nina. You do. Yeah? Yeah. In the lip sync? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In the performance, they were both kind of blah. Right. And throughout the competition, Nina has been like hands down slaying yeah. Aja left and right. Yeah. But in this lip sync. Right. I think Aja just. I think Aja killed it. Yeah. I was watching Aja way more than I was watching Nina. I don't know, I wonder if RuPaul has some plans for Nina to blossom or just wants that storyline to continue in terms of like Nina growing out of this funk. I think Ru is just doing Nina a solid and saying, mm. you live with your parents, like just stay here another week. <laughs> <laughs> you can crouch on my couch. Yikes. No, Nina's earning her stay. Yeah. But. Yeah, but I did, I did think that Asha kinda won the actual lip sync. Yeah, which is why if she went out this week, mm -hmm. it's kind of nice that she ended on a high note for herself. Yeah, both with Brunway look and lip sync mm -hmm. and a tantrum. <laughs> yeah, she apologized for that in our like formula. You're right. totally right, yeah. you've called it. Yep. Where during if there's the an apology, that person's going home. And in the workroom, like if you see robes on, they're gonna talk about something serious. Cancer, HIV, yeah. pulse, right. something. That was also Ryan. I'm so sorry about what I said earlier. Oh, that's okay. I'm a bigger person. Mm. I'm gonna take my robe and go now. Okay, sashay away, <laughs> and I'll snatch the crown. Whoa, Ryan. Whoa. There's something new and cool that we want to do next time. We want you, the viewers to give us some questions, write it down in the comments, and we'll pick some to answer next week. It's gonna be super interactive and really fun, and you'll get to know us and our thoughts a little bit more. Thank you so much for joining us on Ruminations here at Jet Space Magazine. Like, share, subscribe, comment, ask some of those questions, and do whatever you want. <laughs> we look forward to seeing you next time. I'm Ryan. I'm Marita. And come on back, y'all. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> 